Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Bendy and the Ink Machine. Another episode, last time. You can see we cut off here in the elevator. Unfortunately, I forgot to plug in my mic. As you well know if you watched the last episode. So, no cut means this is where we're going to be. we got to go down to the abyss and get some ink hearts. Let's just get right on to it. Down, down, down. This time, uh, the audio was a little off last time. Hopefully this time I seem to, I hope I fixed it. I tried to do some syncing techniques. Uh, if not, I'm really sorry. Hopefully this will never happen again. Um, unless I start making specific videos that require post-editing and post-commentary. There's our first heart and our first horrifying screech. And now we are at the bottom. We saw him a little bit the last time we died. Well, not the last time, but the last time we died to Bendy. Uh, through a window. Unfortunately, the horror for this episode is mostly going to be gone from my voice. Uh, and it's really going to be sad. I'm so very sorry that it has to be this way. But, you know, you live and you learn. And there's much more horror to go. So, I definitely will not forget the headset next time. Or, sorry, forget to plug in the microphone next time, really. Um, you'll have to pause to read that one there. Hopefully you do. Because, no way I'm standing around while that dude's walking around. This place is so sketchy. You're in the ink, you can't go very fast. And now we have to go into dark, awful hallways. With little projectors everywhere, so it's hard to tell which light is actually his. Thought that was one. It's not one. The head. And we're just gonna stand in here. Because I thought he was coming. And he was not. This is the wrong time to hide in here. Yep, just awkwardly gonna hide. It's fun. Now we stand back out. Um, this episode is a bit shorter as well, thankfully. Well, it seems a bit shorter one of my sections and on the other it seems a bit longer but maybe that's just because the the one section is for editing okay yeah all right there's another heart oh. <laughs> yeah he saw me he scared the shit out of me why did i not just hide right there i was right next to one but no i had to go look at it look how fast he is how have i not been caught he is, it looks like he is right on me it is the most terrifying thing I was so scared. Like, how could he not have gotten me already? And then we're just gonna get in, and he loses interest. So he's already less scary. But the room we're in, and his his noise and movement, do not make it as least scary as you think. Uh, it's very hard to keep up with where the hidey boxes are. So, best bet is just stay out of this dude's way. It is very dark. I might. Let's see if I can do something about lighting it up a little bit on this one. It definitely needs it. We find most of the hearts pretty quick. It's the last one that's going to stump us the longest, as usual. Just like with the switches. Though I edited that out for you guys, so... Luckily, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like that long, but it took me... That went from like a 30-minute video to like a 25-minute video. just from cutting that one part. Five minutes doesn't seem like a lot until you're watching me stumble around looking for crap when it's right in plain view. That's okay though. We're gonna hide in here until he goes by. I was like, where is he? I could have swore I just saw him. Looks like his light is over there, but through the wall. And then boom, all of a sudden, here he comes, galloping along. Uh, 
that was not off. I just missed it there for a second. I am very tired. Please forgive me. It's very nerve wracking to be in this fucking place. With this guy just wandering around. And it seems like. Like, because he went off that way, right? Okay. And then all of a sudden he's back behind me. I paused it in fear. I'm not sure if he triggered from me picking up the heart or what, but yeah, this is as fast as we can run. You'll notice it was like a 0.1% increase in speed. But, oh god, he's right behind us. What are we gonna do? Well, it turns out once we get to the stairs, he is no longer aggroed as well. Which is, oh god, it's just so amazing. Thank you so much for not being aggroed. Whew. We're gonna stand up here and watch what he does. Which is, you know, slowly wander back to his regular pattern. He's like hopping. He's got like a limp or something. I'm not sure why he's he's got this gate going. It's very cartoony though, so it definitely fits the theme. God. We'll dive back into the ink here. I thought that that waterfall was bendy coming out of the wall. I uh, almost shit myself. Luckily. It's just a water, an ink, an ink fall, not a waterfall, an ink fall. Thought we might find one just chilling there. That'd be nice. We're definitely on the last one. Yep, we're also gonna go in the opposite way of him. Let's see his projector light again. So definitely not going that way. We're gonna go hide. Which, it's kind of dark, but you can kind of see where the wall meets the projector that that's the hallway, and he did not come down it. Which we like. So I'm just gonna wander about in here a little more. not want to get caught in a dead end with this guy wandering around. He's so fast. I'm surprised he didn't catch me that one time, honestly. He's just so fast. Then I'm worried about where he is. So, unfortunately, I run back upstairs to wait on him to come back out so where I can see him so that uh, his pattern resets or I'm well, not necessarily resets, but I'm more sure of where he is in his pattern. Uh, I would really like to get a visual on him. Uh, and I know this takes a little bit extra time, but I think the episode's a good time today, so... It won't hurt too bad. Just double-checking, we only had one more heart left. We do. So, I'm just gonna sneak back down. I wish there was a sneak button. I'm just gonna normal walk back down. I'm just gonna stand right here near this corner. Oh, actually I think we yeah, we go up here and check where he is. Don't see him in that one. Don't see him down that way. Excuse me. Still very early. I did not get enough sleep, so I'm still yawning. I believe we caught a glimpse of him, so we ran back over here in the corner. Just wait and check. There he comes. You can kind of see, I think his light's like glitching through the wall a bit. Or maybe the walls are just super thin, who knows. Like, do I want to go that way? We'll just go the opposite way again. As we sneak through. As we decide to keep going before he pops up. We already got the heart there. It's just, it's so dark. How can you know where to get it? Oops. 
I was like, I'm going to go stand over here. I believe the all missile is there. That's okay, it seems like he's coming around that side, so we'll go the other way. Come up behind him. Yes, very sorry for this. I, de I have no excuse. I just don't know where anything is. It's dark, scary. I don't know if it's me and I can't see anything or what. But, well, I mean, it's definitely brighter than this on my monitor. I'm going to have to lighten it up for YouTube because it's really dark. Um, that's okay. Yeah, we already got that one. I'm noticing some boards here, some plankage. Some turning in there. Finally reveals our last heart. There we go. Bring them to me now. Luckily, we can sneak out of here. I just realized that he is coming this way. I start. I'm. I don't know if I'm running. It's really hard to tell. Stop. That's okay though because I can hide. And then he loses interest. And now he's going the other way. So we're gonna do something dangerous. On edge. We're gonna follow his inky butt. I'm gonna sneak right up behind his inky self. Try not to get caught by him, though. No. I hear him stomping around. I see his light. Gotta be very careful. Very, very careful. Boom. so good. We just definitely got to make sure not to get caught by him. It's a long way back to the hidey hole. Be extra, extra careful. And now that he's almost over to the other side, I'm going to pop right back out and boom. I believe we're home free. Of course, don't run. I accidentally summon the ink demon right here at the end of our mission. And I wanted to check around back here just in case there was a recording or perhaps a jukebox or something trying to get those achievements. I love achievements. Gotta get those cheeves. But alas, there's nothing there. You can't see you can't even jump in the ink, so I couldn't jump up and see the other side. Oh really sorry. Really sorry, I keep yawning. It's okay after after this I'm gonna go take a nap. Nothing. I can't even get in that way, I noticed, because there's a a thing, um, wood blocking the passage. Right, now we're not scared anymore, so we're just sprinting back to the lift with good old Boris here. Open the door, my man. Thank you, sir. Not sure why I paused it there. Maybe checking to make sure I was returning to the angel. That's okay though. We'll make it. Up one floor. It wasn't too bad coming up. It was much worse going down. I was like, please. Don't make me give you my pipe. You can't handle it. God, I just want to kill her for that Tommy gun joke earlier. You know it's coming. You can feel it. I felt it the whole the whole walk to the lift. I felt it. Have you ever wondered what heaven is like? Yeah. I like to dream that it's quite beautiful. A soft valley of green grass, blanketed by a warm sun. I don't think I'll ever get to see it. I know you won't.
waiting on who the... I want to go to the heavens. Is she crying and then laughing, or was she just weird laughing the whole time? You never know. Horse, man the fuck up. Alright, see, it works. You just gotta knock a little courage into the boy. Don't worry, I'll protect you. That's what I'm doing here. Coming the man up and that I'll protect him. Lovely. Really don't want to die, but okay. You're shaking me. I, I can see you, Boris. I'm kind of awake. Watch out behind you, Boris. Don't let her take you, Boris. Oh, my little angel. There's the path of the angel achievement complete. That's good. It's always good. <sighs> All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Chapter 4, Colossal Wonders. Broken lift. We have to rescue Boris. We're just gonna check around a little here. Yeah, no bones in that. That's good. Alright. I believe it's time for this episode to end. We've come a long way and done a lot. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And come on back next time. For some more, Chapter 4 of Benny and the Ink Machine. Have a wonderful day.